Welcome guys to the occult. You have probably heard about the haunted doll Annabelle. Even some movies are made on the doll. In case you don't know, Annabelle is an allegedly haunted doll. It is kept in the occult museum of the paranormal investigators Edward and Lorraine Warren. Edward Warren and Lorraine Warren were American paranormal investigators. According to the Warrens, a student nurse was given the doll by an unknown person in 1970. They said that the doll used to move to another rooms when no one was at home, used to write on paper and walls, behaved strangely and that a psychic told the student nurse that the doll was inhabited by the spirit of a deceased girl named Annabelle. The student nurse and her roommate tried to accept and nurture the spirit-possessed doll, but the doll reportedly exhibited malicious and frightening behavior and was evil. The doll even tried to harm them in several ways claimed by the student. It was at this point that the student contacted the wardens. Warrens moved the doll to their museum and claimed that the doll is possessed by a demon. The doll remains in a glass box at the Warrens Occult Museum in Monroe, Connecticut. There is a cinematic universe called, The Conjuring Universe in which Annabelle Doll is an important character and appeared in couple of movies of Conjuring Universe. The doll in the movie is a frightening looking porcelain doll in a child's image, with long hair and the real Annabelle, the one in Warren's museum, is a plain looking classic Raggedy Ann doll with red yarn for hair. But the Raggedy Ann at the Warren's museum is no ordinary doll. According to the Warrens, it is inhabited by an inhuman spirit and there is a warning on the glass case not to touch. One museum visitor who ignored the warnings and taunted the doll, died in a motorcycle crash, shortly after being told to leave the museum. Well that's it for today's video. Some people believe that Edward Warren and Lorraine Warren were fraudsters. And their museum is filled with Halloween items but, some believe they were genuine and their museum is filled with real possessed and haunted items. So what do you guys think about Annabelle? Do you guys believe that the Warrens were genuine people? Share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.